Uh, well, shock really. Um, Stuart's brother for me. Uh, I passed late this morning, and I'm already getting ready to go to my uncle's funeral. And um, I spoke to Stuart on Saturday. He was asking me what time Reese's funeral was today, so I was going to see him today for a pint and wished him happy birthday last week. He was 40. Told him I couldn't get down to the party. Um, so I just, I think me and Richard are just a bit in shock, really. Did you see much of him then? You said you were going for a pint with him because, um, you, you know, we've, been, we've heard a lot in the previous years about the split and all mm. of that. Is uh, that all being forgotten now? Oh, yeah, I mean, me and Stuart, we've, we've been speaking for the last five years. I mean, we played together in our sound engineer's wedding together again. Um, now, the split was done. We all held our hands up and who was responsible for the split. Splits. I mean, Stuart probably would be the first one to admit what happened in the split. I mean, so we've all spoke since then. There's no, there's no regrets or anything like that. I mean, we're all we're all friends. Like I said, I was speaking to him on Saturday. Wish me good luck for the gig in Cardiff. And um, his girlfriend asked me to go down to his 40th birthday a couple of weeks ago. And I couldn't make it. We had commitments in London, and so I texted him on on his birthday and said, uh, "Happy 40th." And he said, "I never thought I would make it to 40." And I am. Um, I said, well, you'd live to London. So that was one of the last things we said to each other, which is quite strange, really, but um, yeah, just character, really. Well, people have been saying to me this morning that he was a character. He was larger than life, really. I mean, how will you remember him? Well, I've been with Stuart all my life. Yeah. Did our first show together when I was 12. So I've been with him more than I have been away from him. And, you know, obviously when people break up in bands, people think it's all this and that, but, you know, between me and him, all our differences were settled within a, a year of all that, so, I mean, I, I still can't quite believe it, to be honest, I'm a bit in shock. There's been a lot going on today, so, uh, I want to go and see Mabel and uh, his mother and Paul, and I'm going to go from there, really. Having, having grown up in Manning together and being here today, mm. it must... Those, those sort of memories of... Well, yeah. I mean, me and Stuart used to go to that club every Christmas day. We never bought each other a Christmas present. I would buy him a bottle of Newcastle Brown, he'd buy me a bottle of lager, and we used to walk down the club, and that was it. And I mean, we've, I can't even begin to tell you what we've been through together as, as friends and as bandmates and ups and downs and all, you know. But, um, and I'd just going to the crematorium for my uncle's funeral at the house. So it's pretty surreal, to be honest.